good morning students am i audible and visible to you all good morning everyone okay good morning so you have to tell me in your previous class uh, till which exercise you have done from adjective till which exercise you have done from your adjective you just tell me i will start from the next one you just tell me till which adjective from your chapter adjective till which exercise we have completed exercise o fine so we will be starting from exercise o right okay we will start from exercise o today see in exercise o i think we have completed this one Okay the exercise o make the following phrases singular everything has been given in plural so you have to convert into singular first one has already been done for you these golden bangles so these golden bangles has become this golden bangle in the same way see number 2 number 2 you will answer these brave soldiers number 2 answer okay you think thank you so you answer for number 2 these brave soldiers type your answer this brave soldier not s the plural won't be there this brave soldier page number 33 this okay yes aditya is right chandralekha make the correction it is not soldiers it will be soldier singular okay next one these honest and polite men these honest and polite men number 3 this honest and polite man very good this honest and polite man number 4 those rare diamond rings those rare diamond rings number 4 those rare diamond rings that rare diamond ring not rara Do, that rare diamond ring r i n g that rare diamond ring next is number 5 those funny stories those funny stories that funny story yes
that funny story. Number six, such sharp knives. Such sharp knife. Okay. Next, those interesting books. That interesting book. Done? Yes. Okay, such a sharp knife. Sh such sharp knife. Yes, it will be number six will be such a sharp knife. Sorry, I have not seen that. It will be such a sharp knife. Okay. With such, you have to use one article for making it singular. If it is in plural, then you don't need article. But for plural, you, uh, for but for singular, you have to use one article. Next, see. Um, Okay, page number 35, exercise number R. Page number 35, exercise number R. Pick out the interrogative and positive adjectives in the following sentences. Arrange them in the column below. Okay, so your column has been given in your book. So from each sentence, you will pick out what are the interrogative adjectives, what are the interrogative pronouns. We will pick up very carefully. Let me make the column. First, we will pick out the interrogative adjectives. After completing the interrogative adjectives, we will go for the positive adjectives. Okay. Okay, this is R. Interrogative adjectives. I'm writing in short form. Space is very less, so I'm writing in very short form. Okay. Rafia, don't write before I ask the question. See, first we will find out the interrogative adjectives. What time are you leaving for your school? So here the interrogative adjective is what? Interrogative adjective is what? And the, inter and the positive adjective is your, already given in your book. Next, number two, we will see whose books is Winnie holding in her hand? Whose books? Whose? Correct? Whose books is Winnie holding in her hand? So her will be the possessive. Number three. Which boy needs my help? Number three. Which boy needs my help? Which? And related to the positive, mine. Number four. Which tools does the carpenter need to start his work? Number four. Which tool does the carpenter need to start his work? Which, okay. And his. Next. 
Next, what gift have you brought for your friend? What gift have you brought for your friend? What and your? Number six. Whose bag is lying on my desk? Whose bag is lying on my desk? Whose and my? What kind of animals are these? You can't see my video. You disconnect and join back. Okay, number seven is what kind of animal are these? So, what is the adjective here? Interrogative. And there is no possessive. Only what? Okay. Number six. Uh, sorry, number seven, for the positive, you give a dash. Okay, number seven, there is only one interrogative adjective. There is no positive adjective present. So, for the positive adjective, give a dash. Okay, next, number eight, which is your bed? Number eight, which is your bed? Which and your? Okay, number 10, which bed is yours? Which bed is yours? Okay, number 8, you see, you have missed to see one thing. Number 8, which is not an adjective. Which I can't write as an adjective. So give a dash here. In number 8, only your is the positive adjective, which is not the interrogative adjective here. I missed to see, I got confused with number 9. See, which is your bed? Which after which there is a verb. So when there is a verb before, means when there is a verb after the um, interrogative word, then we can't make it as an adjective. Therefore, which is not an adjective here. But your bed is an adjective. Your is the adjective here. In number 9 you see which bed is yours. The meaning of the sentence is same but it has been changed a little bit. So here what we will do here in number 9 which is adjective whereas there is no positive adjective. Which is the interrogative for number 9 but for positive there is nothing. So, for positive, we will give a dash. Is it clear? Achha, if you can't see me, you do one thing, you disconnect and join back the class. Maybe your problem will be solved. Okay, number 10, whose painting did you like the most? Whose painting did you like the most? So here also only one adjective present, that is whose. There is no positive adjective. Number 10, only whose. Okay? Number 10, only whose. And under positive, you give a dash. Number 10, there is no positive adjective, only interrogative adjective. Archishman, I find there is one mistake in your exercise. I can see there is some mistake in the exercise. You see, check the board once again and correct yourself. See for number 8. See question number 8, Archishman, which you have written. You must not write which in question number 8. Which is not the adjective here for question number 8. Check your book and do the necessary correction. Okay?
So is the board visible to everyone? So whatever I have written in the board, that is your answer. Your, you match the answer, whatever you have written with your workbook, with this board work, whatever I have written. Okay? See, one, two, three, four, number eight, you have to make a dash. Number eight, there is no adjective. For positive, you have to see number seven, number nine, number ten. This will be gap. There is no adjective for positive. In question number seven, nine, and ten. Okay? Be careful. You cannot see the board. Hold on. Board is visible till bottom. Show me Lee. I can see the board is completely visible. Yes. So now everyone is able to see the board properly. Okay. So check the answers and do that correctly. Orchishman, don't use that kind of smileys. What is this monkey doing here? Okay, so once you are completed, I will go for the next one. So next one, there is a story. So in the story, what are the adjectives you have to underline? So what I will do, I will first read the story. Okay, and uh, whatever ad adjectives we are able to find out, I will be writing on the board using comma okay you cannot see the board show me Lee. you check the network of your connection you check the network of your connection there is some problem going on okay And uh, if you still can't see, then don't worry, the entire video is getting recorded and you will be getting the video of this class in YouTube. So you can later on check YouTube for anything that you have missed. Okay? Okay. So I'm rubbing the board right now. We are going for the next part. Okay, exercise number S we will do. Let us read. A king lived in a great palace with beautiful gardens. Let's see what are the adjectives here. A king lived in a great palace. Great is the adjective with beautiful gardens. So, in the first sentence, great beautiful there was a small lake nearby there was a small lake so small once when the prince were playing near the lake they saw a green turtle and ran back to the place in fear. 
so once when the prince were playing um, near the lake they saw a green turtle green is there only green is there now you may ask me why when i have not used when is there once when so here when is not interrogative adjective because this is not a question this is just a statement so in a statement this is not used as an interrogative word okay so therefore it is not the adjective okay there is a terrible demon lying on the bank of the lake they said to their father here you see terrible terrible and there terrible and there yes t h i r the king sent two servants to bring this demon to the court the king sent two servants to bring this demon to the court so to and this to and this this is demonstrative here soon the turtle was placed in his presence in his presence his underline the his next since he had never seen a turtle before since he had never seen a turtle before he too felt afraid he too felt afraid of it okay there is no adjective here uh he looked at the hard shell so here hard is there he looked at the hard shell he looked at the hard shell of the turtle carefully and said to his minister so hard is there carefully no not carefully he hard and his hard his okay another one i missed that is afraid i missed to see afraid is also adjective okay next the demon is wearing a strong armor so strong is there strong strong armor what method should we use to kill him so in the next sentence what w h a t what method that what you have to underline okay okay so today we will finish till here the rest of the passage we will continue in our next class okay today we will end till here so mark till paragraph number 2 the end of paragraph number 2 we haven't completed okay so let us see till now we have got 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 Fourteen adjectives we have got in these two paragraphs. The remaining we will continue in our next class. Okay. Okay then. Bye bye. See you again.